Hey there, this is Aaron, and in this quick video I'm going to show you some pretty awesome stuff, some AI tools in Adobe Photoshop. And to start off with, I generated this image earlier in Leonardo AI, and I downloaded it and I opened it up here in the new Adobe Photoshop public beta that has Firefly Generative Fill. So let's check this out. Um, image is really nice looking, to be honest with you. The composition is nice. Uh, so I'm going to add some space here on the right and see if we can get the rest of this bird's wing uh, and more background added. So I'm simply going to change the size of the canvas. I'll make it a thousand pixels wide. Bring it out from that side. Beautiful. So now all that I'm going to do is highlight that area, use the generative fill to generate some additional pixels for it, us there by going and looking at the original image and predicting what could go there to complete the image. And what have we got? So this tree is a little bit funky as far as the shape. I guess it is interesting, but we do have other options to choose from. Variation number two variation number three. I think variation number three is perfect for what I am about to show you, which might be the coolest part of the whole deal here. So again, generated this image over in a website called Leonardo.ai. Then we use the AI here in Photoshop to expand the canvas and finish it off. Being fair, it didn't do a fantastic job on finishing the wing in this variation, but it it works it, it's good enough for jazz you know what I'm saying so here what we're going to do is I'm going to actually use the text prompt area here and say add another bird same as the others and let's see if just adding that little text prompt is it going to be smart enough to generate another bird that looks pretty close to its uh, compatriots here? Let's find out. Well, what do you know? It's generated a bird that is really identical in style to the other birds on the page, on the screen here. Let's see what variations we have. There's birdie, and there's another bird, although here the branch is coming out a little bit too much. Here we've got some strange wing action going on so overall maybe we'll say that number two is ideal that is pretty incredible actually you know what let's have it generate another bird and see if it can produce an even better result with even less information now I'm realizing that I didn't highlight all the way down to the branch and maybe that's causing the problem with it being a little bit free floating there okay so quite a different bird <laughs> I don't know if he really matches the overall landscape here let's check this out sort of a mirror image of that bird and here's this guy so overall that composition is not too bad we got the one two three action but he is still floating and well his little claws are looking pretty mangled let's see what we can do here again I'm going to select the area all the way down to here and say again add another bird should I have said please I don't think it really matters let's see what it comes up with here this is actually quite a pretty uh, quite a pretty picture and there there it is a third bird in style very similar to the others let's see what the other options are kind of cool and I think we've got the winner winner chickadee dinner look at that that's really nice so again we started with this image brought it over here expanded the canvas out and added a third bird pretty incredible stuff look at that considering that it's not from even the same application that is pretty impressive stuff so there you go folks ai the future is now